You, so we wanted to know how Lewis kept collecting traffic violations while out on bond with only a learner's permit, even getting arrested in Willoughby Hills. Mona Kosarabi spoke with the police chief there, and Mona, he says this is an example of a bigger issue regarding repeat offenders on the roads. Chief Christopher Collins tells me that every year they stop hundreds of people driving who shouldn't be out on the roads, but he says that during routine traffic stops, it's not always easy to see the major problem behind the minor infraction. Out on bond and back behind the wheel. The woman did not have a valid license. She gave us a fictitious name. According to the police report, a Willoughby Hills officer pulled Starlisha Lewis over in November for going 89 in a 60 mile per hour zone. She was arrested and charged with falsification, which is a first degree misdemeanor, uh, no license and the speeding violation. Lewis also had another teen in the car with her and her two year old child a violation of her learner's permit. But we wanted to know why the Cuyahoga County Court was not notified about Lewis's arrest. We would have to be familiar with that and they would have to know that obviously we made the stop. Chief Christopher uh, Collins right. says because the hit skip case is pending, it doesn't come up on their system. Normally it's just cases that have been adjudicated through the traffic courts already. Looking through Lewis's driving record, we learned that her learner's permit was eventually suspended in January when she was convicted in this case. The fatal hit skip shows up as an accident. 1343. Which dispatcher Angie Love says typically isn't shared with officers during traffic stops. Only if they ask about it, if it, you know, upon request. It's not something that we normally give back. By March, Lewis was back on the road involved in another crash. There has to be some way, I guess, that we can, you know, get that information and keep them from getting behind the wheel. But I don't know that I have the answer to that. Now, the system did help Willoughby Hills police uh, determine that Starlisha Lewis was not who she said she was. When she was pulled over by them, she told them her name was Courtney. They ran her name through the system and realized that it didn't match up. That's when she came clean and said that she was scared because she didn't have a driver's license. Now, Chief Collins also tells me that they do have access to another system, which allows local Ohio police departments to voluntarily put in information regarding people that they've encountered. But he tells me that that system is more for criminal investigations, not routine traffic stops. Live in Cleveland, Monica Sarabdi, News 5.